from Luke chapter 2. There is a danger, and danger arises when Santa Claus takes on the role of watching everybody sleep. Knowing who has been bad or good, and rewarding behavior with gifts, as if he was the infinite source of all good things. There is a role that only the God of heaven can play. This when attributed to anybody else, is blasphemy. The best illustration I have is a cross-stitch picture of a Santa Claus on his knees before a manger, worshiping the child, Jesus Christ. Saint Nicholas did not become a saint by being kind, and be being a protector of children. Nor did he become a saint by much study and reading and understanding of the scriptures. Saint Nicholas only became a saint and had, and by the way, that means according to scripture, a saint is one who has received Jesus Christ as his savior. Saint Nicholas only became a saint by being saved through faith in the baby Jesus like anyone else. Thus you might recognize our traditional invitation slide. For Saint Nicholas to be a saint, he had to admit he was a sinner, deserving of God's judgment. And he had to believe that Jesus Christ died for his sin and rose again. That is what makes Mr. Nicholas Saint Nicholas. If that is what he did, then he rightfully bears the title of a saint. And any one of us should attain to the same standard to be called a saint. And any one of us should, in whatever way and means we deem necessary, remember the childless, remember the fatherless and the widows. Well, remember the childless too, for that matter. Uh, but remember any of these categories of individuals who don't have the well-rounded family life that most of us have grown up with. It is a very difficult time of year for many. And I know the Salvation Army has been out there and we've recently seen uh, a, a portrayal of what the Salvation Army has done every year through some uh, magnificent cathedral or something out there in the uh, in the United Kingdom, and they talk about having raised so much money for the sake of serving the poor and the child and the and the fatherless. And those are all good things. So, however you celebrate Christmas, may it be merry because of the gift of eternal life which we have by faith in Jesus Christ, whose birthday we celebrate. Let us pray. Our God in heaven, we recognize that there is much that the world would come against us as believers in Christ. There are many accusations that are made out there in the world that would ridicule our Christian traditions around this Christmas season. But I pray, God, that you will help us to recognize from your word, from the scriptures, the Bible, that our traditions have roots and foundations. They go way back into the time of the Old Testament and the Israelites and in their <clears throat> sharing and giving of gifts and celebrating deliverance from their enemies. And I pray, God, that you will encourage us to stand firm and to stand strong in our faith. And I would pray that each one of us would attain to that high standard of being called a saint. The scriptures would call it being a child of God. Pray that if any of us have not or are not sure about that uh, 
designation of being called a saint or of, of having received Christ as their Savior. I pray that they would clarify that understanding. I pray that you would draw them to ask the questions that are necessary to make sure that we have all received you as our Savior, that we may celebrate Christ and his birth in a proper fashion. In Jesus' name, amen.